Bienvenido, willkommen, Huan Ying, bienvenue, dobre pajalovets, Anyang, welcome to the United States. We realize many of you have traveled a great distance, so we want to streamline the entry process so you can reach your final destination. This short video will help explain the process. Hi, welcome to the United States. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers take your safety and that of our country very seriously. They've been safeguarding our nation's borders for more than 200 years and continue to be the first line of defense. How are you today? Oh, very good. Your immigration status will be confirmed and is subject to further review. How long were you out of the country? One week. We may also need to inspect your baggage or personal items. If you don't understand something, just ask. Our goal is to help get you on your way as soon as possible. U.S. citizens this way, please. Follow the designated signage for U.S. citizens and lawful residents, as well as those for visitors from other countries. Want to bypass the regular lines? U.S. citizens, lawful permanent residents, and citizens of currently participating countries approved for the Global Entry Program can proceed to one of these automated kiosks for faster processing. Look for them at select airports. You can learn more about Global Entry at globalentry.gov. U.S. citizens, lawful permanent residents, international visitors traveling on a B-1 or B-2 visa, and some visa waiver travelers may also be able to use the Automated Passport Control, or APC, kiosks available at select airports. If you need clarification on which approved travel identification you're carrying, visit cbp.gov to learn more about APC. Travelers with Global Entry or those going through Automated Passport Control will no longer need to fill out a paper customs declaration form. Those not using the automated kiosks need to have a completed declaration form ready along with a valid passport. Non-U.S. or Canadian citizens may need an I-94 admission record to verify immigration status or employment authorization. If you do need your I-94 admission record, it can be accessed online at cbp.gov. U.S. Customs and Border Protection is always striving to improve the travel screening process. So be sure to visit cbp.gov travel for the most up-to-date information on documentation and travel needs. Place your completed declaration form into the front cover of your passport. When it's your turn, a CBP officer will call you to the counter to review your documents and may ask a few questions, such as... What is the purpose of your trip? Vacation. Business. Medical conference. Easy enough, right? You may also have your fingerprints and photo taken. Say cheese. Why should you take my mommy's fingerprints? Good question. To so make sure somebody isn't pretending to be your mom and to help keep you and your family safe. If you have anything to declare, including merchandise, food, or plant products of any kind, make sure to inform the CBP officer. This includes U.S. citizens and legal residents who must declare all items they purchase while abroad. Failure to declare these items can result in fines, penalties, and seizure of those items, and nobody wants that. Let's grab our luggage, shall we? It's always a good idea to check the tags on your bag to make sure that the luggage belongs to you. It can easily be confused. Sure, get off my bag. Sure. A CBP officer may ask you to report to the secondary area for further inspection of your baggage. Should you be selected, an officer or CBP agriculture specialist may do a visual inspection of the contents of your luggage, looking for items not allowed into the United States. Really? While some fruits, vegetables, and meat can enter the U.S., they must be inspected for insects or diseases. Failing to declare these items can cause delays and result in possible fines to cover the cost of their safe removal. If you have items to declare, present your CBP declaration form with the items in question for the officer's inspection. If you exceed your personal exemption, you may owe duty fees. You will be directed to the cashier. Here you go. To pay the amount due. At the final checkpoint, present your paperwork to the officer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Travelers with connecting flights will need to have their baggage checked and screened in order to board the next flight. Check the monitors for gate information on your connection. If this is your final destination, you can get information about ground transportation, hotels, sites to see, and other activities at the local information desk in the main terminal. That's it. Welcome to the United States, and thanks for helping us keep our country safe. Have a great trip.